Welcome back to We Do It Wednesdays. My name is Robert. I'm an ANPIA here at Airmart, and today we're going to discuss aviation oils. So the oil is the lifeblood of your engine, and a few things that the oil does is it cools, lubricates, works as a anti-corrosive agent. Um, it also, in turbo systems, works as an actuator for a turbo system. Um, and also for ashless dispersion oils, carries away contaminants uh, to the oil filter where it can be captured. So on this engine, it's got a total quantity of eight quarts. We typically want to service to uh, just one quart less, so seven quarts on this one. And you never want to operate the engine with fewer than half the quantity of the, the wall system. So no fewer than four quarts on this engine. Let's talk briefly about some of the different common types of aviation oils we have available. So two of the most common types that we use here are the Phillips 66 20W50 and the Aeroshell 15W50. Uh, these are both uh, multi-weight oils. Uh, they're really good for areas of the, the country where you might be flying and they, the temperature fluctuates quite often. Uh, these will be well suited for your engine. A quick thing to note on multi-viscosities, if you look at the first number, that's essentially the viscosity at zero degrees Celsius or freezing temperatures, and the number on the right is going to be the viscosity for uh, 100 degrees Celsius or the boiling point. So you have your straight weight oils, which are great for stable climates, and for instance, you have your W100 Plus, which is a straight weight oil with additives for anti-corrosion purposes and anti-wear. Last but not least are mineral oils, straight weight mineral oils. Uh, these are not ashless dispersant oils. These are essential for any time you do a cylinder change or install an overhauled engine. For break-in period, the piston rings uh, need to be wearing into the cylinder and a straight mineral oil allows that to happen. So for the use of mineral oil for break-in purposes, uh, you wanna keep the time frame of use down to about uh, 15 to 20 hours maximum. Uh, what you're really looking for are the cylinder head temperatures to lower and for oil consumption to stabilize. So a few of the key takeaways I wanted to mention. Uh, number one, be sure to fly your aircraft often. Uh, don't let it sit for extended periods of time. Uh, there are contaminants and acids and um, water buildup that causes corrosion in your engine when it sits for extended periods of time. Um, and also along with that, changing your oil often. Um, it will remove all those contaminants, water, acids, things that cause and set up corrosion and um, prevents you from reaching TBO. And lastly, uh, check your oil often uh, before each flight and service your engine oil whenever needed to help your engine to reach TBO and prevent corrosion. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. Uh, for more maintenance tips, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe our social media pages. And for aircraft inventory, visit airmark.com.